hello everyone welcome back to my channel cat tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial we are going to discuss about the remaining commands in the profile toolbar so basically we will discuss about the points uh, mainly uh, which is very very useful uh, command uh, while uh, designing the product so let's start with the mechanical design part design and again i will keep the name as it is so go to the sketcher and here i uh, will select the position sketch okay and then click on okay so here now we are in the sketcher so we'll discuss about the uh, point okay so first uh, let's say let's draw some cause here so i will create a uh, ellipse here so for ellipse we need the major axis and the minor axis so just create a major and then minor axis so in this way we can create the ellipse so again if you want to create so you can create this ellipse again i will create some lines over here so just create some lines escape after it and then we'll see the uh, points now so the first point is point by clicking so this is very very simple so uh, just we need to create a point we, uh, where we need to create a point we just need to click on it so just click the point just click so again if you want to use the command uh, in a continuously so you can just just double click on it and you can just go on clicking to create the points so in this way you can create the point by clicking so now again um, this is very important uh, you need to constrain each and every points so uh, to create a to, to provide the constraints uh, you need to uh, constrain this constrain the point against this axis that is the uh, v and z so again uh, let's put this dimension so in this way you can uh, create the constraints so similarly you can uh, provide the dimensions here i will keep this as it is again and then you can use this reference again uh, to constrain the another point so if if you are getting this inclined uh, inclined dimension then you can just right click and then you can provide the horizontal measure dimension similarly if you want to provide the vertical dimension then you can provide as it is but this is not a good practice we we uh, we, we just need to uh, provide the dimension from the v and z v and uh, h axis okay so now the next next point is this is the point using the coordinates so again uh, click on it and here we need to provide the uh, co uh, coordinates here h and v so h on the x direction and v on the y direction for for, for our reference and you can just provide let's say 500 h and then here as well 500 and then click here so it will create a you can see the point is created over here 500 from h uh, and then this is a 500 from v so in this way you can create the point using the coordinates let's say 250 and here also i will keep 250 and then just click ok so now what is this happening the the the, the point is taking the dimensions from this reference point so to avoid this we can again uh, click on these point coordinates and here we can select the reference point and then if you uh, enter the 250 and 250 dimension and click on ok it will create a point from this reference point this is 250 from again horizontal and 250 from the vertical so in this way uh, we can create a point using coordinates so now it is getting by default selected so that's why if we again try it will create a point from this so let's say 200 and then again 200 just click on ok so it will create a point from this so 
okay so in this way we can create a points using the coordinates then the next is equidistance points so let's try some again curves here so let's say i will try this circle first let's say this circle will create some arc as well let's say this arc and then again we'll create a line as well okay so now go to the equidistance point so select this command and then select a line or curve on which the points are to be created so let's select this circle and you can see the equidistance points are automatically created and if you see in the dialog box here definition box you will see the new points are 10 so 10 numbers of points are added at an equidistant okay so you can increase these points so let's say 20 and you, you will see uh, the points are added as 20 here and just click ok so you can see the distance between these two points will be equidistant equal you can say again similarly if you want to create a equidistant point here so again it is taking 20 let's say 15 now and it will create a again equidistant point here similarly uh, if you want to create a points on line then you can create it here so in this way you can create a equidistant points then the next is intersection point so here uh, again we will see one more curvature here let's say let's try this one let's create this e eclipse you can create any any of the curve okay so now again i will create a line here just escape after it and here uh, let's say if you use this intersection points so now we need to we need to select two curves or two lines which are intersecting so let's try this one and then this one so you can see the two points are created here at their intersection similarly again select this select this line and then you can select this so you can see the intersection point is created over here similarly select this one select this line and then select this line it will create an intersection here so again uh, let's say if we try this curvature here so let's create this select the curve and then select this so it will create an intersection points in this way you can create the intersection points using this command so now let's move to the next that is a projection point so here again uh, let's say if you want to create a projection point then again we'll create some curves here let's try these curves let's try this then you can try anything create a line here okay so now we'll create a projection point uh, projection of this point on this line so we can use this command that is projection point select this and then select this point and then select this line so it will create a projection point on this line here you can see this point is created so i will zoom it you can see this point is created over here Similarly, if you want to create a projection point, let's say if you want to project this point on this curve, then it will create a projection point over, over this curve as well. So in this way, you can you can use these uh, commands. Or let's say if you want to again project some line as well. So let's say project this point on this line. So it will create a projection line 
position point so now uh, if you see here let's say if you want to project this point to this line so definitely uh, this will get extended so select this so the point is created already and then select this line so you can see the projection point is created on this line similarly go for this and this so it will create a projection point on that line last one we'll see and then this one so in this way you can you can use this projection point command so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe my channel